Hey everybody, gonna do a quick video today. I'm um, just trying to do a very quick head swap um, just to uh, see if I can't keep this video down. I know the last couple have been uh, pretty lengthy um, and I uh, really wanna give you guys um, some content uh, that you can watch that's not super long. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoy. Uh, this is gonna be uh, creating a uh, Dr. Death, Steve Williams. Print Fury Custom. Contact the man himself. Kevin Pelkey on Facebook. Print Fury Customs. You won't be sorry. So we're actually going to be able to highlight uh, two different customs today. Um, this is actually my Dino Bravo uh, custom that I had made. Um, and this is utilizing a uh, great Tom Veg head. Um, this thing is amazing. The detail um, that he had put into this. And the likeness is just super spot on. Um, really came out to be one of my favorite customs, actually. Um, utilizing, uh, let's see, what body parts did I use on this? This was a um, Ted RCD top and Galoob um, Brian Pillman legs, actually. Um, all sliced together, cut and pasted together, and then redefined with uh, new definition. Smoothed out the singlet. Um, but I really like this uh, this figure so much. I actually want to reuse the body. Um, we're just going to utilize a different head here. So I'm going to go ahead and import a new head. And today we're going to use a Dr. Death. So let me go ahead and just get this imported and we will go ahead and get uh, get this one going. Um, the, the timeline on this video hopefully will be under 10 minutes, uh, but we'll see how fast I can get, get this one going. As this loads, just going to be just another second here. So again, I wanted to uh, thank Tom Veg for the um, head sculpt here. I've actually used quite a few of his heads and really like using all of them. Um, some pretty awesome stuff. I'm going to hit yes on that prompt there. That's just asking the uh, system to uh, move the two pieces together. And here's our object browser, if you remember. So looking for the Steve Williams head. T to transform. Blue to bring it up, green to bring it over. Try to get it somewhat in the area. Left click to, uh, to uh, Utilize these arrows, right click to move um, the, the view line here. The sliders again will allow you to reposition. These long arrows allow you to move the, the head. And this white cube, if you click it and drag it up, we'll resize up to make it larger, down to make it smaller. So the biggest trick of this build is going to be just getting the right positioning here. I feel like we're pretty close. Be a little bit uh, more telling once I get Dino Bravo's head out of there. And you can see I'm going to have to deal with some, some spacing there and some gapping, which is actually a uh, pretty tough skill, but I'm going to, going to hopefully be able to get it there. Maybe tilt the head up a little bit. That might help all things here. Just trying to find a decent position. I think that's gonna be all right. So I'll go ahead and accept that one in place. Go ahead and remove the Dino Bravo. Then we can start uh, combining these two meshes together. So again, plain cut to remove the head we do not want. I could use the select tool here, but since I'm not gonna, the plain cut I want will not interfere with any of the other body parts. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. I don't really need to do a select on this. Um, reference my other videos to see a little bit more of that. So we're gonna go plain cut and we're just gonna cut 
something like that. I want to be able to keep and maintain the bottom portions of the, the Dr. Death. This will be a, an interesting one. I think he's got some pretty high detail. Oh, there we go. Could be all right. And again, hit this blue arrow to switch which side is going to be affected. Yeah. So I'm going to have a gap in here at my current positioning. So I don't want a gap going through the model that I'll end up having to deal with. So I'm going to raise this plane cut up quite a bit just under the ear of the Dr. Death. Believe me, it's easier to deal with it utilizing shrink smooth afterwards than uh, to tackle that. So we're in a little bit of a better spot there. I'm going to go ahead and cut Dino Bravo out. And that's going to leave us with um, some pretty pretty hefty scat, uh, smoothing out here. Um, but I do want to realign this hat. I like with this pose. I like I like the straight ahead, straight on view. So I'm gonna just tilt that head straight on, reposition it back a little bit. I want to keep the hairline right onto the back without having a gap, if possible. And that looks actually pretty spot on. Viewing it all the way around. I feel like this tilt is a uh, tough one to get right here. Kind of back and forth with the blue arrow, green arrow. Once I get the majority of that Bravo out of there, I should should be feeling a little bit better about that as well. All right, so positioning is looking okay. Size might be a little small. Such a strong body for this figure. I want to increase. I just dragged up the size of that head just to peak. Just a little bit there, just to just to increase. He's got a lot of hair. He's got a big beard. I got a little gap there. Hide some of that. You can increase size to help get rid of that a little bit more. So let's go ahead and accept and view it on the inside here. This is looking in. Looking at the model from the inside, I think I'm going to be able to correct any issues that I may foresee there just by smoothing out this Dino Bravo. So let's go ahead and accept this positioning here. We can always play around with it a little bit more once I get more of this Dino Bravo piece out of here. So I'm going to switch objects, sculpt, brush, shrink smooth, bring size down if you remember. It's a 30 size. I think this is going to be something to, a decent one to kind of start with. I just want to come at this with a shrink smooth real quick. There's some faster tools. Um, move tool would be a real good one here. I could plain cut each one of these pieces a little bit more just to just to go at it, but I think the shrink smooth here is going fast enough that I don't have to necessarily worry about going at it with another tool or another brush. I want to try to keep as much of the neck as possible here. Shrink smooth this side. Dr. Death was a figure 
um, requested by my friend Nat Schaefer. Um, if you know Nat, um, she's an amazing lady. She owns Random Treasures and XOX Customs on Etsy. Um, she does um, amazing, amazing um, rubber LJN figures. And in fact, we've been we've been collaborating now for it's been just over a year now that we've been working together. And I send her a lot of my uh, prototypes in which she makes rubber molds um, and, uh, and sells the rubber rubber figures. So um, if you are ever interested in any of my figures and you want to see them in rubber, um, XOX Customs and Random Treasures, then reach out to Nat and let her know that Kevin sent you. She'll take really good care of you. Um, so lastly, just the chin here is really the only piece of main of my main concern, and then I can finalize any gaps. So shrink smoothing the pieces here away. You can reposition, and it'll sometimes look and take away some material a lot faster if you reposition. Sometimes getting it right on the the biggest part of the edges will help that go down. Again, there's faster ways of doing this. The move brush, I could have just moved all that material and hit it inside, but sometimes just getting it like this is, is just as fun, kind of satisfying. Almost there. Shrink back some of that neck there. I'm zooming in because I don't know if that's going to give me any issues. I've kind of lost a lot of Dr. Death's hair in this model as it's kind of fallen inside the the mesh of Dino Bravo and I don't necessarily think I mind that. If I wanted to I could kind of move the hair out. Give us a little bit more to work with. Almost gone on that Dino Bravo piece. So that gap there, I can get rid of by doing a bubble, switch to bubble smooth, hopefully. Just increase volume just a touch on the body there, and that should, should be enough to, what I'm looking to do is just connect this crease here and then again this is the interior view so there that should eliminate that gap and if I just cut over this this will get rid of this piece here when I make solid this will this will go away anyway if you've guys seen me finish a figure before the making solid function should make this all interior one one easy mesh, but just clean this up anyway just to get rid of it. I know these interior views are kind of probably a little bit difficult to kind of un understand or comprehend until you until you play around with it, but it's kind of cleaning up the inside of the model as well as the out. back to shrink smooth and I want to cut away this piece here shrink away I should say bring back definition to Dr. Death's hairline and his ear we'll 
bubble there. And there, got a hairline there. Seems to be all one piece. No major holes going into the model. I think I like that positioning actually. A lot of this is just kind of point of view, what you see, what you like, preference. Um, I don't know if necessarily that's kind of too tall, but go back to my object viewer. Reposition anything more if I want. If you think it's too high, just play around. Adjust your sliders as needed. challenge with him is keeping him looking straight but also in the right position on the head oh yeah that looks much better bringing that down really brought that hairline out a little bit more too Probably running over time on this this video um, with hopes to the 10 minute window, but that's okay. This will still be a fairly quick finish. Um, let me get back to sculpt. Shrink smooth these. This is just remnants of the old Dino Bravo head. But as you can see, a head swap can be done fairly quickly. I'm just kind of wrapping this one up now. Just want to get rid of a few of these last, last pieces here. Almost ready to call this one done. Utilize the move brush, moving some of that material down. I think that's perfect. Shrink smooth. And zoom back out and see how I like. I think I finally nailed that position. Again, preference and uh, experience with this will kind of let you know if your proportions are right, if your depths are right. Let's call this one done. Um, and just to finish it up, go to your object browser, select both, Boolean Union. Hopefully, we get a success on first try. Almost done running through that. We've got a success, We've got the double colors. Again, an error would be uh, very apparent as the whole model would turn red on you. But that looks good. We'll go ahead and accept that. I could smooth out a little bit of the noise on his face there just from the the scanning of the head sculpt, but once I print that, you'll never 
never see that anyway, that little noise. So I'm going to just call this one done once I accept the, the union, the Boolean union of these. And then we'll make solid. I'll run you through that. Got a success there. Viewing it from all angles just to double check that proportion. I don't want that head too small or too big, but let's run with that. And we're going to go ahead and do edit and make solid right there. And again, the uh, default is fast, so we're going to switch that to accurate. Increase our details to 1028 instead of 128. Update. So I've gotten a lot of feedback um, and a lot of direct messages on the scanning process. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what I can do to put together a, a video on the scan and actually completing the scan. But what it all comes down to is having really the right tool. Um, again, I use the uh, EinScan uh, scanner. I believe it was the type S or SE or something like that. And that's really just you know, the, 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 the key point of scanning is using the right tools. I'm sure there are um, other scanners out there, other brands. I'm just not familiar with uh, what would work um, better uh, as far as that goes. But I'll try to run through a, an EinScan desktop scanner video for you guys um, and try to show you what that video or what that software looks like and kind of how that functions. So that'll hopefully be coming soon. Um, any other videos or topics that you guys like to see, uh, let me know. I can bring in some uh, some guests um, for um, some topics too. If it's not something I feel comfortable with, I can run through kind of what I've used in the past for paints. Um, I've used airbrushing as well. Uh, if you guys want to see what airbrushes are working good um, on this, uh, primers, type of paints. Um, and then we can go back to doing uh, old school cutting rubber and uh, rejoining limbs. I've had a lot of requests for, for seeing that as well. This particular figure, Dr. Death Steve Williams, looks pretty much complete. Really like that. That size, that body. Looks really good there. So on that note, I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. And... Uh, Thank you guys for, for joining and watching this one. If you do like what you see, please subscribe and like what you can. Thanks, guys. See you next time.